uh, just testing out boots with some uh, C60 with olive oil because they say cats hate it right well it's it's mixed in the food so you know it's just a dash right I don't know how much is in there a level teaspoon or whatever but he's eating it up so I'm not gonna get that avocado purple power crap anymore because it's um, 190 plus ten dollars shipping so 200 bucks and this place out in Texas I don't know what it's called man on freak it's on Amazon it's 224 bucks for twice as much so in other words 500 milliliters for 224 versus getting 250 250 milliliters for 200. 224 includes the shipping, right? Are you going to eat that? Huh? Shit, maybe he's not going to eat it. <laughs> he ate most of it. Come here. Come here. Come on. Shit, maybe I'll put some treats in there. <laughs> I threw some treats in there. I stuck the ball on top of the other bowl. I want to make sure he uh, gets that stuff, or at least one of the other guys gets it or some, or Panda Cat gets it or somebody. You got to eat that, man. Come on. Come on. Come here, boo-boo. Here. Come on. Anyway, I guess you got some of it. Not sure if that olive oil is the stuff the way to go, man. Because I'd rather get that stuff than... Uh, because even they got that uh, good and cheap. Uh, cheap and good or good and cheap. C6000. I think it's cheap and good. That's what it's called. C6000 or OO or whatever the hell it is. Um... That's only uh, 20 bucks for 100 milliliters, so $200 for 500 milliliters. Uh, I got some of that on hand, so it will come in my way pretty soon. It take a while to get it to you, though. I'm out here in my short sleeves and I'm freezing my ass off, see? I got shorts on, too, see? <laughs> I got my Confederate beanie cap on, though. <laughs> so, that'll help. Just getting ready out to go out here and bleed the brakes on the El Camino. At least get the front ones done. And uh, do the back ones later if I need to. I'm not sure. <laughs> do one thing at, I just do one thing at a time, man. That thing's going on the ground here pretty soon, man. Because after, I'm not putting a damn timing chain there right away. Because uh, I don't feel like doing it. I got I got other stuff I got to do. I got to do the, uh, I want to coat the exhaust system on a Suzuki with that high heat paint. I want to fix an oil leak in a redneck way on this Sebring. It's not a bad oil leak, but still gets things messy like the freaking belts. You want something right here? Come here, Bobo. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He wasn't that hungry. That's probably what it was. Anyway. He's doing good. He's doing pretty good. Yeah, he's a good cat, huh? Yeah, <laughs> he's a good cat. What is that cat doing, huh? Well, that's that's probably about number eleven or maybe ten and a half. I don't know. He's still got some in here. I know he got some, but those are big doses. That's like you know, if you give a level teaspoon to a cat, that's like you drinking, I don't know, fifty to eighty milliliters of the stuff. I mean, I don't know how many milliliters is a teaspoon, but it's like you drinking a hell. I mean, a cat only weighs like 15 to 20 pounds, so you figure humans 150 to 200 average. So times it by 10. That's like 10 level teaspoons, right? That's that's got a, that's a significant amount for even a because they're telling a human to take less than half a teaspoon. So I just checking to see if he was going to take the olive oil. And I think he's okay with it. I just think he wasn't that hungry because he's over here in the afternoon. He usually swoops by early in the morning and late at night. And he kind of avoids daytime. Right now it's a little after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's cloudy and it's going to get cold. And it's going to get down to like 33 tonight. And I got my perfection heater going. <laughs> I tell you what, man, it's gonna be interesting about you know if I go up to Tennessee permanently, I'm still thinking about it's gonna be two places. It might be North Georgia and the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains and Tennessee. Or maybe I'll still stay here, but then it's a farther drive to go. Well we'll see how it is. 
It's only 10 hours, man. It's not that far away. 10 hours straight drive up 75. Basically. Let's see how it is. Oh, what a cat. Look at that freaking... Whoa. <laughs> we got him in there far. We came in here deep, didn't he? Huh? Look at that guy. A gold digger, I gave her some more. I'm running out of that almond stuff, or avocado-based stuff. I'm pretty low on it, so. But I don't know if I want to get any more at that price, because I could save one of the uh, bottles of, uh, 100 milliliter bottle of the, the cheap and good carbon C60 and olive oil, as long as the cats, you know, if it's mixed in the food, they might not notice it, you know? They know they don't like olive oil, but... The other thing is, if I throw it on their fur, they'll lick it off, whether they like it or not, you know. <laughs> and yeah, you know, once you get about 30 good doses in them a year, um, I think that's the critical thing. 24 to 30 or so doses is when you really start noticing something. And uh, I'm going to be talking about that on a separate video, actually, what I'll be doing to me. So far, I got... Not minuscule, like not talking teaspoons. I took about almost 700 milliliters. I hate using the word milliliters. Um, so what the hell is that in ounces? Uh, I think every, you gotta figure 80 to 100 milliliters is like a serious dose. So I got about 79 serious doses. But you need about 24 to, or more than 30 maybe, at least 24 be in a short period, of, like say over several months before it really starts making a big deal you notice something and you're not going to notice something you know you might notice something like the way you feel but that's so damn subjective now if i see uh like gray hair go to you know actually i don't have like black hair brown hair i got like uh light brown uh, almost dirty blonde hair so if it goes it's not going to be that noticeable my hair color all starts coming back in really good it's going to be like uh you know, I don't know. I don't really have dark hair in the first place, man. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see. And I don't have too many. I don't really have gross feet. I don't have. I don't have like wrinkles under my chin or in my neck. I don't have like the big laugh lines. I don't have like. I don't have many lines on my face as it is. So I'm like, I don't know how much it's. You know what the hell? The only thing I can notice is say gray hair, and I'm not bald. I'm not even, I don't even have uh, a little bit of thinning on the top as far as I could tell. And um, so I think the only thing I'm going to be able to tell is if any gray hair goes away. And I don't think that's going to go away overnight, so we'll find out. But anyway, <laughs> you see I'm out here, I'm out here in short sleeves in a, in a, in a freaking, uh, in shorts and look at this, this chick she's out there freaking but it's it is that cold man so my energy <laughs> i don't know you can't see her face you know but she, she's all bundled up man she's got a mask on and a freaking uh what an amazing lady you know uh mask on and a ski coat it, and she's taking a walk so i mean you know <laughs> it's like you figure uh you know, I'm out here. I'm out here with a, a t-shirt with no sleeves on and running shorts, right? And I got my uh, Confederate beanie cap on. You know. So anyway, not that bad. I'm not staying out here forever. I'm gonna put some shit on when I go do the ble bleed the brakes. But I'm just testing to see if. Yeah, you know, I guess cats can freaking eat the olive oil as long as it's like they don't eat the they don't eat the uh, Goldie, Goldie, and Putin. And gold digger, if I put a little bit of that stuff, the avocado based uh, C60 on my skin, they uh, they lick it off. Usually, Rocky, he smells it and he goes yeah, and he runs away. I'm gonna have a hard time giving. I'm gonna probably splash some on him when he's sleeping, and uh, for his own good, you know, lick it off, and that's how he'll get his dosage. But I'm probably going to stick with just getting plain old C60 olive oil instead of buying that purple power avocado or coconut oil. And yeah, I think the avocado oil works 
absolutely as good as the as the uh, olive oil, even though it wasn't tested scientifically in in the, you know the thing. Because that's the stuff I was using on boots, and that's the stuff I was using on gold digger. I wasn't using olive oil on them. I was using the avocado, purple power stuff. So you know. I think as long as it's got C60 in it, it works. I think a lot of this stuff is good. I think the prices are, uh, you know, are astronomically overpriced on some of the vendors. So I'm going for some of the cheaper stuff. But I'm going for one vendor is actually about a little more than twice the other vendor. But then I'm not sure if this cheap and good C6000 or OO is that damn good. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm, but I'll be, I'm going to be taking a lot myself, but I'm going to be using the olive oil stuff on the cats now. And you're my buddy. He was here last night. I was petting him and shit. He was out there in the driveway. My buddy. You going to be coming by and staying here for a while? Huh? I'm going to plug your heater in, man. All right? Here, little meow meow house around here. Yeah. This thing. Uh. Anyway, this thing. This is Meow Meow House. Boots the Confederate cat. He's got his heater in there. And we got a plug down here. It gets plugged into this. this damn thing right here. Yeah, just plug it in. Plug it in plugged in and that'll now heat up his joint if he remembers about it you can remember that you can remember you got your heater huh you got a heater in there man you got so much freaking food and stuff in you i don't even know where the hell you go where you go man you probably hang out in one of them brush piles down there what's this huh huh you still got you still got scars on the side of your head. You know? Maybe that carbon C60 is going to heal you up to like brand new again. You seem like you're freaking feeling good though. Huh? So, we're going to go with the olive. The olive stuff. I'll probably bring that in and bring that, give that to Gold Digger. She'll eat anything. She's freaking. That chick, she's got markings. Gold Digger's like, got markings like a cow, you know? Splotches with black and she's white. She's eating like a cow, but. She better you know, blow up like a balloon, man. She freaking eats like freaking crazy. She eats more than my other cats, all my other cats put together, for crying out loud. But maybe she needs it. I don't know. <laughs> you. Who the hell were you fighting with? You weren't fighting with Panda. He was over here today. I saw him and gave him some food. I think he had some C60 in his shit, too. Not much, but there was some. <laughs> I might make the crap eventually. I don't know. We'll see. I got a feeling, uh, you know, I, I got a feeling it's not that big of a deal. I think you just get the 99.95% pure C60. You stick it in uh, the olive oil. You got to get a 4,000 RPM centrifuge. You spin it for so long in darkness. Then you put it through like a special micron filter, and you're done. And you just keep it in the dark in a, a glass bottle. I should keep those bottles, by the way. That means I should keep those bottles that are like dark from Purple Power and this other joint I got it from. I don't know. And uh, just put the stuff in there. Maybe I can make it for about, I don't know, 50 bucks a half a quart. I don't like using milliliters. <laughs> I freaking hate the metric system, man. You know? Yeah, right? Pounds, feet, inches, you know? Acres, fathoms. That was the BS. Dozens, cubits. Fahrenheit versus centigrade. And Fahrenheit actually had a freaking logic behind it. I think it was the temperature when dry ice froze or something. They used to store fish in like dry ice. 
I think that was the temperature when dry ice froze, I think it was. I'm not sure, man. Something like that. There was a logic behind why Fahrenheit uses that zero. I freaking, I hate everything metric. I hate, milliliters don't bother me too much because it's very close to quartz. You know, it's like 1.15 quartz to a milliliter. Is that what it is? And I noticed 2.54 centimeters to an inch. I noticed 1.6 uh, kilometers to a mile, 0.62 miles to a uh, to a kilometer. I know like 25 clicks when you're going 25 miles an hour, it's 40 clicks. You know, I know 80 clicks is like 50 miles an hour. I know that shit, you know? I mean, I could convert it in my head left and right. I just hate it because it's globalistic. <laughs> you know? USA and Britain are gotta hang together and just the hell with the BS, man. You know? Right? As a descendant of uh, Duke Albert Edward, who I am, believe it or not, which, which applies to gazillions of people, actually, because that horny, the Playboy Prince, or Edward the Caresser, as he was known, did have several illegitimate children, one of which was my great-grandfather. Of course, they didn't acknowledge him. And he was half Italian, you know. But, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you got the boo-boo on top of your ear. It's getting freaking healed up. Pain the ass, man. You better stop this crap. I'm getting peed off with you. You know that? Yeah. It's like you're getting. Oh, what? You know, maybe he's not even fighting with a cat. That's the thing I keep thinking. What cat are you fighting with? You never fought with Panda. And if you did, you're the one that lost. He didn't even have a mark on him. And I never seen you fight with Panda. He's over here with you all the time. You know? So who the hell did you fight with? Did you fight with a dog? Huh? Huh? Did you fight with a dog? Did you fight with a raccoon? Raccoons are bigger than you, man. You gotta stay the hell away from those damn things. Huh? Did you fight with a raccoon? Huh? <laughs> you notice I'm still out here, man. It's like you'd think I'd be freezing my nuts off. But you know, between C60, a bunch of vitamins, the iodine, and espresso coffee, which I just had a good wallops of, probably like, uh, I don't know, I made the thing in this espresso container, I drank the whole, I mean, it's supposed to be these little cups, I pour it in a coffee cup, I drink like eight ounces of espresso in one shot, that usually does it, you know, then I, then I never uh, fall asleep, <laughs> I gotta watch you don't drink that shit late at night, you're up like five o'clock in the morning, you know, yeah, what's this, oh, you, you're okay. That's just some shit. You're okay. No, no boo-boos over there. No new boo-boos. No new boo-boos. They're real old boo-boos. But yeah, I was reading about some of these people that had old scars. And um, when he took lots of it, the old scars started lessening and some of them went away completely. I'm figuring this guy, I'm going to get you hooked up, buddy. All of my cats are going to get hooked up. So I'm going to be in my late 90s if my cats are like 40 years old. And... Um, you know, it's still alive, and uh, we could keep this junk rolling here, you know. The next thing I might get next year is a genuine Lukowski multi-wave oscillator. And if I sit between those two uh, the coils, um, I'm going to pull one of my cats and uh, get them all freaking fixed up. And I'm going to get, that's another reverse aging thing. You know, by the way, you know, Edgar Casey said in one of his predictions that human life would be extended greatly would beyond what was imaginable before I saw that someplace not that I read it to Ed Casey much because I don't know if the guy's full of shit about it but you know it might be it might be I remember a couple of years ago I used to see these emails coming in from these you know these places about how people are going to get an injection and if they they're still alive when they're 75 they're going to go reverse age, and they're going to be 90 years old, and they're going to look like they're 25 or some crap. And you're not going to be able to tell the difference between a 90-year-old and a 25-year-old a unless you look at the driver's license or birth certificate or something. And all of a sudden, they disappeared. all that stuff disappeared. And I noticed reports out there about these billionaires, tech billionaires, they're talking about um, they know ways they're going to live hundreds of years, thousands of years, or forever. You know, as long as, as long as nobody kills them, right? And I'm thinking, 
you know, just showing like I'm drink, I'm I'm taking all these uh, vitamins and minerals, and I'm taking holistic food and uh, you know the best stuff. And I'm like, you know, you guys are not telling you telling me what you're really doing. Now I figured they were doing some of it with frequencies because they're tech billionaires. But you know, maybe they got maybe besides the frequencies, maybe you know this C60 stuff has been around since 1985. You know that? I saw articles in the New York Times about it being some kind of cure-all in 1994. But most of the articles from the big publications have been scrubbed. Now, I don't like this guy Cliff Hyde, because that's one reason I was turned off from looking into this, because I know he's a BS artist. But he, i got to thank him that he did bring this out, because, you know, that got the ball rolling when he put it out, you know, with the Avalon Project or whatever the hell it is. But... And I think there's a lot of manufacturers of C60 making good stuff. It's not the original guys that are making it. I think I could make it. But for now, I'm going to go on and, uh, you know, try it out and get some hardcore stuff in me and see what happens. You know? Right, Bootsy? Putin over there is getting all fucking jealous. He's over there. Yeah, he's not meowing, no. <laughs> all right, Poo Poo. See his ear? It looks worst on camera. <laughs> it's got, it's, it looks worst on camera, a lot worse on camera. It's like, you know, it's a little great. You know, that was from before. It's like, jerk, you free. That's probably a cat, man. I don't know what the hell cat you fought with, but you guys stay over here. You'd be a good cat. You stay over here. You don't get in trouble. And um, I don't think he wants to fight with nobody with all these ex injuries because when he gets injured hard, whatever the hell he does, or whatever the hell happened to him, it seems like there's a long hiatus before between that time and the next time he gets injured, you know? But you never learn, because you're a knucklehead, you know? Now, maybe you will get your nuts chopped off, but when the hell do I ever see you early in the morning when I can grab you, right? But, I, you know, we'll see, we'll see. But I don't think that's the solution, because I don't know, I really don't, I'm not 100% sure what, I don't know what cat did this with this guy. I never saw any other cat out here except for Panda. And Panda, I almost guarantee you, did not fight this cat. Because Panda doesn't have one mark on him. And I've never seen these guys fight when they're over here together. Right? And if you get your nuts fixed, this asshole, whoever did this to you, is going to do it to you anyway. Because I don't think he started it. Right? I think you're a good guy, right? You're good meow meow. You're General Lee, like that over there. See? Ah, uh, oops. <laughs> General Lee. Yeah, there it is. Focused. This camera's pretty freaking good, man. I'm surprised. You know, my other this. I'm using a cell phone. This the LG G4 cell phone. It's better than my Nikon cameras, man. And it took me a while. See, he's even got a boob on the side there. That's an old one. I bet you that feel. I bet you that fixes up 110 percent. It already looks like it's doing better. This junk is I'm giving him is way better. You know the vets. Like you know, I'm talking about getting this the uh, Lukoski multi-wave oscillator. Hey, the patent for that thing was September 1st. It was developed in the 30s and 20s actually with Nikola Tesla. You know. Uh, George Lukoski, the Russian scientist who emigrated to Paris, France, built in uh, Col uh, Paris, France by the company Colisa. Uh, it wasn't patented until September 1st, 1939. This thing was reverse aging people left and right. And even the things I put, like the coils, I stick on the plants, just a simple coil. Nobody knows, knows about that crap, hardly anybody. And, you know, so C60's been around since 1985. And, you know, you look at the multi-wave oscillator, and you look, I'm wearing one of these bracelets. This is a Lukoski coil bracelet, right? It's a simple one. It's not a Tesla coil and all that garbage. But, you know, how many people are doing this shit today? How many people, even when they wear these copper bracelets, they don't even know why, why they work. Some of the golfers wear them, right? Tennis players. It's like they knew about it big time back in the 30s. Then we had World War II. And, you know... Then he rediscovered some of the devices to a few years ago in Italy. The guy Tony Caceres or whatever his name is, Tony and Bruno from Italy. They found devices again, the real ones. 
Now, if I get one, I'm going to probably get one from this place in New Zealand that makes one that's pretty good, you know. But I'm kind of waiting on to see if AmazingOne.com in New Hampshire comes out with something. Because I'll get it from them instead. But, you know, that's a project for next year. But that, in the meantime, I'm going to be taking a lot of carbon C60. I wasn't too sure about this stuff, but now... Uh, the testimonies on the internet are one thing. Me seeing the results on Boots the Cat, and what was really, really obvious was Gold Digger. I gave her more than, she got more than him. Because I see her every day. I, she might have got 20 doses of it. I don't know how much she got. She got at least 15. He's got about 11. 11 doses, or 10 and a half. That would have been a half a dose today. Big doses, though. So, he's doing good, though. He's doing good. I mean, he's got some old scars on him, but, you know, I mean, they're not hurting him. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing affecting him. He's climbing, he's climbing up this damn thing up here, you know. He's climbing all the way to hell up there. I don't know how he gets up there, man. There's no ladder. You climb all the way up there, right? And you get down. I mean, obviously, your foot, your leg isn't be, isn't all messed up. You can jump all the way up, down, up there and get down from that damn place. It's pretty high up. What do you do, the Olympic uh, pole vault get up there? Is that what you do? Huh? You know what? You're my buddy. You know that? You're my buddy. You're a good cat. You know that? You're good meow meow, huh? <laughs> you're going to be the moonshining mascot. That's what I'm going to do, too. Besides being a Confederate cat, you're going to be the moonshiner mascot. We're going to get you all hooked up, buddy. I just hope you stay around here. Stay right over here in the yard. You're going to be fine. Because if I see any raccoons out here or some shit, we're going to whack them. All right? I get them. I got, I got, mic I got super sensitive micro, my microphones out, microphone out here, cameras. I got something else coming in, too. Uh, special DVD re uh, recorder. So it'll do several cameras plus the other stuff I got with the old tech. Um, so if I see any raccoons out here, you're going to get whacked with the Pelican. <laughs> Night scope Pelican. You'll be protected there, Boots. Don't worry about it. And, uh, that stupid dog, man. I'll scare him away, too. I don't know what the hell I'll do. Play my Dixie horn. I don't want to hurt the dog. <laughs> I know it's his dog. Comes back in here once in a while. You could have got messed up by a dog. I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering. Right? So you hang out here, man. This is your spot, man. This is your your place. I mean, There's another project I gotta do. I gotta change out this roof. I think I'm gonna put a black one on it next time. So this tan. Black one with the uh, OEM cloth. That's another project. Try to fix the oil leak in his car. Shit. I know I'm talking a lot, but you know, I'm actually throwing you a few dimes in here, in manhole covers, because I'm going to probably put on a separate video on what I'm going to be doing with the damn C60. I'm a little afraid to get it out there too much because it's like, they'll, they're going to put a lid on it. I know they will. Don't go freaking thinking we got them beat. We don't have them beat. We don't have them beat, man. The smiling professional weasels from hell. Which everybody believes in, except for a few people like me. You know, most people, it's not just them. It's like most people support this garbage. I'm going to tell you right now, you know that spooky too? Um, I talk about the parrot zapper a lot. I think that thing, when you use it extensively, works like crazy. I'm wearing it right now. I've got this thing on right now. I got, I'm using, a, I'm using a, the, the six pack. I've got, it, I've got it on right now. I wear it all the time. I wear it as much as possible. I wear it more than half the day. I sleep with the damn thing half the time, you know, most of the time. And, uh, but you know, this spooky too, with the plasma, with the cancer killing frequencies, they got it all set up in there. That thing definitely works on cancer. I don't want to make a separate video on that. I'm telling you right now, that spooky plasma where John White has uh, the two 
right frequencies, the 1,530,000 hertz and the 1,604,000 hertz, where it Spooky's the only one that hits it directly with plasma. He's got it set up with feathering, so it goes in and up and above the frequencies, right? So it, it hits all up and around him. And he's got it on a 4 hertz gate, so it goes four times a second while it's pulsing it. That stuff definitely works on cancer. They get that that word gets out. If you know right now, it's it's hardly nobody knows about it. If that starts putting doctors out of business, they'll send the FBI, the NSA, the CIA, uh, Homeland Security. I don't know the ATF or whatever the hell else they got out there, and and um, the DEA and immigration services after the spooky tool equipment, and they'll, they'll go around and confiscating them like. Bob Beck used to do with the Rife machines, the true Rife machines. You know, Bob Beck with the blood electrifier. You know? They will. I know they will. And you know what the problem is? It ain't exactly the government. It's the idiots supporting the government because they think it's good. You're morons. You're idiots. You're not even worth... This cat is worth more than freaking... Five million idiot, stupid morons that worship the government, okay? Because this guy's independent. He thinks for himself, he does his own thing, and he cares more about even us people than all the politicians who were put together, right? You're a good guy, right? I know, he doesn't have to say nothing. He's, he's a good guy. That's why I like cats, man. Cats are a gift from the gods. They really are. Cats are sacred, right? You go uh, down there. She's got an old booboo on the front. It's going to pink skin. It's getting pretty good. You gonna go? Uh, huh? You gonna jump down? Huh? You gonna jump down? I ain't talked enough. Anyway. All right, Bubba. I'll leave that out there in case you're gonna eat it. All right. Maybe a panda will come by. I'll give it to panda. You're a cute little cat, man. You know that? They should be making a C60 in a cat food. But they ain't going to do that. You know what they're going to do? They're going to put C60 delivering pharmaceutical meds. Watch. So they can poison people. Right? That's what they're going to do. Pricks. Fuck them. Excuse me, YouTube. But you know what? This is ridiculous. I mean, every time something great that the human race develops, usually us Caucasian people, right? You know what I mean? Uh huh. It's got some other jackasses come around and screw it up. Usually some other Caucasian people, you know? Got good ones and bad ones, you know? So, anyway, fight the power. That's why we got Boots the Rebel Cat. By the way, it's pretty damn cold outside. So that woman walking by with the, uh, you know, bundled up. I'm just using this, the only heat I got going. It's a perfection heater. Let's see what we got here. 76 degrees. Not bad, huh?